digital media has become a central feature of adolescence. From hanging out with friends to studying for their upcoming test, teens have adapted to the possibilities and pitfalls of our increasingly online world. However, there's still one area that can be pretty tricky to navigate digitally. Sexuality. Nearly half of all teens visit social media sites at least once a day, so it should be no surprise that teens are spending some of their time online exploring their emerging sense of sexual identity. Given the easy access to sexually explicit content like pornography and the anonymity the internet affords users, many teens are exploring sexually oriented activities while online. But is that normal or dangerous? On social media, a young person may find sexually explicit images, post sexy selfies of their own, and communicate with romantic partners through private messages and DMs in a sexually explicit way known as sexting. Many of these activities are perfectly normal and can even benefit a teen's personal development, allowing them to explore their sexual identities in an anonymous way that can feel freeing. They may also use social media to initiate or maintain healthy romantic relationships, However, exposure to sexually oriented activities online also has risks for a teen. They may feel pressured into posting sexually explicit messages or photos or asked to do so by a partner or crush. Repeated exposure to online sexual content may lead to more sexually permissive attitudes or risky offline behaviors. The images and content they see may reinforce harmful gender stereotypes that a teen might internalize, as well as the sexual objectification of women. Parents can help support their teenagers through the tricky digital questions of their development by having an open and ongoing conversation about what is safe and what poses a risk. Parents might encourage them to be careful with what photos and messages they share with others and remind them that requesting sexually explicit photos from others is not okay either. This video is based on a chapter in the Handbook of Adolescent Digital Media Use and Mental Health. You can learn more about how to protect teens from the risks of digital media by downloading a free copy of the handbook at www.teensandtech.org slash handbook.